Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have the opening match of our NECC season, starting out with Center Valorant taking on Middle Tennessee State University's Junior Varsity team. Um, today, casting for us, we have, go ahead and introduce yourselves, gentlemen. Lucas. Um, this is uh, this is Big Soup, or Blake. I'm on the uh, Overwatch White Esports team. Uh, and we're gonna have we're gonna have a good game today. Uh, looking at comps, uh, well, center is the blue team at the moment uh, for defenders. Uh, we've got a Sova, a Raze, a Reyna, Killjoy, and an Omen. Um, I, I I think last time we saw Snom on the on the Brimstone, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, I'm I'm ready to see the the different smoke plays that we can have here. Uh, I personally really like Omen on this map because Omen can have a lot of really cool one ways. Uh, we, we did see the Sova again. We do have a Sova and Killjoy mirror match. Oh, and Omen, a lot of mirror match. Um, let's see how this pistol round goes. So it goes for the dart, and he's gonna get like all the pings. Gets all the pings. Can't find one. Unfortunate, but gets a lot of people really low. A three people on MTSU really low. Oh, and there's three for Pierogi, just using utility and shots. That's four. This is going to be no contest here. Just throwing out utility, trying, trying to fish out KO. KO is really hurt. Snob's going to get it. That was a really good round for, for center there. Not, not really having to spend a whole lot. Uh, that, that, that's going to put Killjoy about halfway to Killjoy ult and... Uh, that that is fantastic. Uh, I don't think we could really ask for anything more. Um, everybody getting set up on, on defender side. We we usually just spread people out, have a couple people on A, a couple people on B, maybe somebody watching mid. And that looks like what uh, what center's doing at the moment. Uh, the round starts and uh, MTSU is not going to have a lot of money here, uh, but I think center is saving. So it won't be that big of an issue for either team. There's a trade there. Ooh, it's sort of looking for something. Can't quite find anything. Down to a 3v4, but many people hurt on MTSU. This Marshall shot could mean a lot. Ooh, Whisper having to back up. Finds the jet. That's absolutely fantastic. Ooh, a blind shot into the smoke to take over the omen. Gets blinded. Has to back up. Whisper is out of utility. Rogi looking for something here. Making sure nothing gets on sight. And is gonna hit those shots. We now have a 3v1. The KO is incredibly hurt. Ooh, I was really hoping that that, uh, that shock dart would get something, but I, I think it was a recon. Uh, it would have been very funny. Starting to move on to site, looking behind boxes. They do they do not know the KO's back there. Whisper's gonna get taken down. Hopefully we can get a lucky. Ooh, looking for the blast pack, ended up killing Pierogi. Oh, it's going to get loud, going to get loud, moving on to site. They're tiptoeing around each other, and Blimey's going to find it. But I do not know if, if uh, Blimey's going to have time to defuse. Luckily, luckily, we, we, we had less than two seconds there. That, that was really close. Uh, uh, really glad Center could find that. One. That's going to mean a lot for Center. Center uh, have now all mostly died and therefore have no obligations to save anymore. They're going to buy those rifles. Um, Out of I will say, I do think that MTSU is also going to have that money for rifles. Snob? Busting out the, the, the ghost here. Open to, uh, maybe pick something up. Looks like, uh, Snob's going to switch to the sheriff. Revealing area. Throwing up that util. Ooh, Ixor is going to get pinged and is going to have to back up here. Just getting absolutely poked out. Not really dedicating anywhere uh, onto a site or anything, just pushing mid, which is similar to what they did last time. Their jet is going to find Blimey. Ixor having to back up and wait for some wait for some reinforcements here. They're going to move on to B, but just MTSU not exactly dedicating to a site. They peek. Ooh, and the jet can't find any jet. The judge can't find anything. Xora is really low here. If Xora gets a pick, uh, Xora would be able to heal. 
make this into a uh, a, a, a better standing opposition. Spike planted. Jump sees. There we go. So now I'm getting one, but then getting headshot wall banged. Sort of has to find a pick here. Can make a little bit of noise, but it's all right. I think that uh, I think he might be a little bit too far for anybody to hear. KJ is going to uh, start moving forward while while Reyna pushes through doors. There, Jet is really hurt. Getting this this uh, 1v1 against the Jet could mean a lot. There's a pick, and there's the heal. Looked for a second, but couldn't quite find it. Uh, and that's going to be the first loss uh, for, for for center. But uh, two two to one. That was uh, that was a round that uh, MTSU was supposed to win. So. Still a really even game. We're starting to get ults online here. Uh, MTSU's uh, KO will have their ult. With uh, with that quad that uh, uh, that Brogy got, uh, you you think that that ult might be out soon, and hopefully we can get it out this this round or at least get it up this round. Looks like they might be looking for a B push. Of course, no defenders rotating yet. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to give anything away too soon. Using util, showing presence. It's gonna get whisper. Brogy, a little bit scared to, to peek all the footsteps. The door closes and Brogy has to back up. Ixora might be getting a little bit rushed here. Just a lot of util being thrown. Spike down B. That will be MTSU's KO ult in order to get on site. Ooh, an unfortunate pick from behind. But Stamina and are going to be able to get theirs, making this a 3v2. 3v2, but not with the best health and guns. Throwing the util back site. Hopefully, they can get Jet. Nice. Ixora picks off KO. Jet peeks. Jet does not get a kill. So that is going to be another round for center. With uh, two ults. Two ults uh, ready to use. Killjoy not having that ult yet, but uh, it no doubt will be coming up soon. Honestly, Killjoy ult on defenders is, is just used to either stall or... Uh, or may maybe get spike after post plant. But uh, not having that Killjoy ult isn't really going to affect us too much on defender side. I do think that this, uh, with how much retakes that center is having to pull off, I think that this Reyna ult could mean just a, a one round for center. Especially with how, how we know that Ixora is an absolute animal on the Reyna. They're going to stop looking at B in mid and, and maybe try out A a little bit. They haven't exactly just gone A yet. They, they, they've gone mid to A and, and stuff like that, but... I'm jump peeking, see if, uh, see if you can't find anything. Gonna see the jet, but get blinded. Be able to make it out pretty unscathed. Oh, but Ixora's gonna get picked. Oh, a really unlucky teleport. They're gonna get all five on site and planted. Blimey does have all util and, and can clear out a lot of cubbies here. There's that nade out in the middle of site. There's the boom bot looking for something. Whisper's throwing out that util. Just Sender's trying to make sure that uh, they can they can get some eyes before having to push onto the site. Brogy's gonna get picked, but Blindy's gonna trade. Well, I mean, he still has those blast packs, but I, I'd I'd be nervous. I'd be nervous to uh, just go flying in there. And it looks like uh, two remaining center players are looking for a save round. Whisper thought maybe maybe he could get something, but. Everybody's going to back up. Make sure they don't get taken out by that bomb. This is going to maybe look for something on mid, but nobody's going to show up, so won't see anything. Uh, it's going to make it 3-2, to two, center's favor, with two ults for center and two ults for MTSU. Uh, ults are not as uh, influential. We do have the two KJ ults, but Jet versus Omen, that Omen ult just is not very good. Uh, not in a, 
not in a in a sense that uh, Snom won't be able to do anything with it. Just uh, I mean, you cannot deny the uh, the the kill potential that Jettle has. And there's a massive ping by Whisper. Going to drone out. There, get one. They they smoked on the site, so there's not really much that uh, anybody can do to contest, other than Pierogi, who's in backside, willing to just sit here and get a million utility thrown at them. Gets one, but then gets taken out. Sora behind. Looks like they're all on site. Ooh, Sora, I think, missed there. Didn't quite get any shots. Whisper's gonna get one. Throwing that util into the smoke. And there's Ko. Doesn't see the KJ. Ooh, but Ixor is able to immune. Oh, unfortunate. But that will be around first center. A lot of really, uh, sort of really close calls there. Uh, uh, a lot of trades that just went in center's favor. And that is gonna make Whispers ult too. So still holding on to those two ults, both teams. Enemies close. Eyes up. I'm, I'm ready for uh, I'm ready for some some crazy uh, shock darts. I know that uh, utility has just been just really good this game, and I I, I want to see some want to see some lineups. I think that would be very fun. I can't wait for for that on attack. Can you go for a little bit of a budget round? Uh, not necessarily. I think just uh, saw the guardian at first and thought maybe center was saving. Oh, that's an unlucky ping for Exora. It's gonna expose him. Oh, but Exora's gonna get one no matter what. I'm not quite sure if those hit anything. I don't think it did, just based off health bars. I think uh, Whisper was looking to play off of Exora's intel. They're gonna push into mid a little bit, but really slowly. They're gonna be loud though. Snob's gonna find one. Looking in the mid, Pierogi just sitting, waiting in market. Ready to take advantage of somebody who's not really paying attention. Slimey just making sure that she doesn't get flanked. Peaks. Ooh, and Pierogi gets got. Slimey is just trapped in a corner here. Slimey has no idea where they could be. Knows that some are in mid, but knows that also left. some could have gone to B. A lot of util being thrown on her. Then there's two players of now. Now grouped up. It's going to be a 2v3. We'll have bomb down. This round is looking in favor of MTSU. Last player standing. Blimey gets taken out. It's gonna be a 1v3. Ooh, the double blind. Can't find anything for it though. Smokes. Heliports to Boathouse. They have no idea. Takes out the KJ. We know that KO is, is speed. Snom does not. Unfortunate KO is gonna get the last of center's players. This has been a really close game, but the whole time center has been in the lead. That's a joke. Kill mode is default. Those ultimates, uh, MTSU is holding on to those ultimates. I think, uh, based off just the difference between these games and uh, Valorant teams, uh, Center's Valorant teams' previous games, uh, those ultimates are just coming out a lot faster. They, they sort of realized that holding on to them wasn't working. Of course, Pierogi knows that Killjoy ult could just be a free round, so... Rogi's just trying to make sure that they get value. Snom and Ko are about to face each other. Ooh, but Ko's gonna find something. Snom's gonna get the trade. Snom a little bit hurt to go into this next you fight, but run. not too much. And that is going to be MTSU's KJ ult. Rogi getting poked out, getting hers though. I need to wait for that Killjoy ult to be over. There's no time to go and challenge it now. 
MTSU is only just now going to get spike down. Ooh, Flammy having to move in order to not get pinged. So now I'm peaks here. It's gonna be really close. I'm fine. Ooh, can't quite find the second one. The one v one. Both somewhat hurt, but Killjoy incredibly hurt. Let me looking for that blast pack. Distracts with the blast pack and peeks from the other side. A fantastic play. And that is going to give Blimey Showstopper. It was a really close round. Uh, a round that, uh, was it no point guarantee? Center's now going to have three ults. Uh, Showstopper, uh, Killjoy Shutdown, and Omens, I believe, Return to Shadows? I forget what the official name of it is. Um, and then... Uh, MTSU is going to have that KO ult, the Jet Knives, and an Omen ult. I think, uh, depending on how this is played, any ult here could be incredibly influential. Let me throw in that utility, but not quite finding anything. So now I'm trying to jump peek, making sure that if anybody comes through mid, they can't get an easy kill. Like they're gonna smoke off mid. Cover going out. Throwing some people in B, some people at A. MTSU not committing anywhere yet. I think that they're gonna they're gonna test the pressure on B and then from there move forward. Which a lot of people have rotated to A. They might have an uncontested B here. But Whisper's gonna make sure that presence is known. It'll be three on A, two on B. Spike going down on A. Spike planted. Cutting their vision. Initiated. A lot of people on center are, are just looking for an opening here. Can't quite find anything, but is going to use that kill drill in order to get on the site. Brogy gets one and then gets dropped. Snom gets one and then gets dropped. And Exora does not get one. That is going to be a 2v3, and which is now a 1v3. Well, I mean, we'll have ult for it, though. Can't quite get onto site for the KO. An incredibly close game, but center is just a little bit in the lead. Uh, how this goes forward financially, uh, I'm not quite sure. Uh, center does not have a lot of money uh, to, to be spending on rifles, let alone utility. Just said they've around to spend on utility, let alone rifles. Um, but a lot of uh, a lot of big olds could come out. On the same hand, MTSU's got Jet jet Knives. Jet doesn't even need to buy a gun if they don't want to. Whisper's gonna look for that cat. He's nobody on cat. Get out of my way. Everybody just looking around. It looks like MTSU is looking for that B push. Not gonna try and spread everybody out like last time. And Pierogi is going for that faithful back sight, just sitting and waiting. They've made noise. Now Pierogi knows that they're in main. Ixora maybe not seen by that drone. But only having a classic. They're going to have to play this perfect. One on site. Ixora's not going to get one. They do not know that Pierogi's back site. Making a lot of noise. They're going to be really haphazard. And maybe Pierogi can take advantage of it. Everybody else stuck in smokes. One's gonna jump into back tight. Pierogi's gonna find it and cannot find a second. Still with a budget round like this, any kill is going to give uh, a decent amount of money. Well, I'm only having the classic, but still a lot of utility. And Snom having that sheriff. Ooh, Snom cannot find one. Maybe a right click from the classic's all we need. Oh, but KO backs up. Let me debating on what to do here. Pulls out the showstopper, throws it back sight, can't find anything for it, peeks and gets double peeked in return. That was really unfortunate. And it is going to tie us up to an even game 5 and 5. We are now getting to not exactly the end of the first half, but people really have to be considering money. 
Nam is going to full full scent buy that rifle. Um, really, if 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 Snom, um, if Snom can't find anything here, it could be could be really bad. But um, if they do find something here, I mean, it could mean the world. Sora, the only old center has on the board at the moment. Ooh, Whisper is gonna get taken out almost instantly. Is going to drop a rifle. Maybe another center's uh, center's players can pick up that rifle. So we're looking for something popped ult, but is not getting contested by anybody right now. Limey looking for those flankers. Nam is gonna get taken out. Limey's gonna whiff a little bit. I'm gonna back up. Take a second shot at it. Pierogi's gonna find one. Ooh, Blimey peeks out with the blast pack. Gets one. That's gonna leave it to a 1v2. Pierogi's hurt, but in the spot where she thrives, in backside of B. Uh, but they are gonna go A, forcing, forcing her to move out. She doesn't quite know that information yet, so... She's gonna stick with it. Spike planted. And now that she knows, is gonna have to move out. Ooh, with the utility from KJ revealing position. This may be a save round for Pierogi just to make sure that that rifle makes it to the last round. Pierogi have to check all of those corners. It's gonna gonna take a crack at uh. Trying to find something. Is he just going to sit in backside of B, saving that rifle? Is going to see if maybe a kill can't be found. And nobody is going to uh, going to challenge that on B. So. Last round before the switch. Ult, uh, ults are looking round or are looking round. Uh, ults are looking rough for center in this last round. Uh, see financially how everybody how everybody's going into this. Sora is going to be able to do that full buy, which is really good for center. Um, MTSU pulling out an operator could be really unfortunate with all of the long angles on this map. I'm pulling out the the, the the halves and guardian. I don't think that uh, nothing can be got with that. I certainly think something can be done. Limey well, knows that they're there. A lot of utility being thrown out for pings and, and suppressants and stuff like that. Sora is not going to find anything. Ooh. Snom's position revealed that he's going to get pushed. Snom finds one. Spike down, mid. Finds one, but cannot quite get a second. Whisper is going to get one. Limey's going to get one. There's now a 3v2. No ults on the board for either team. This is looking greatly in center's favor. Maybe other than guns, Whisper running that Guardian. Ooh, Pierogi finds the jet. I don't know if Whisper knows that they're there, just has a hunch. Oh, the Recon Dark gets peaked! Oh, really unfortunate, but does get a shot off. That Omen is weak for the two people that are left on A. Omen does have bomb, so is able to rotate over to B. Centers in the dark as to locations. 30 seconds left. No ults will be able to be used. Blimey is uh, almost out of utility. Looks like Pierogi might be set up on B already and just not in range for the utility to activate. Both moving through market. They're not going to split up. They're going to make sure they go forward. Omen and speed, they don't quite know that. They assume that Omen's on a site. Peeks that and finds the Omen. No competition, and that is going to be an absolutely even half. Both teams have six rounds. Um, uh, thinking about comps, I think that both teams are so similar that uh, there's no way to predict uh, whether or not that was a really good round. I will say, uh, I don't know what, if that was center's uh, map pick or side pick. Um... But they pick me. 
so we picked the side. So that was that was our side. Um, that was our side. So this next one could be difficult, but uh, I mean, with how even the game has been, I I doubt that uh, the rest of the game will go too much different. Like full util from Blimey. Blimey knows that those those grenades are just so good at clearing out different cubbies and. Especially on A, where it can clear out hell or uh, back of generator, stuff like that. Going forward a little bit loud. Not really caring to make noise on pistol round, I, I understand it. They know the jet's there, jet's gonna get popped, Snom is gonna find it. Just droning in, making sure that nobody else is close. An eight up into heaven that will land right at KO's feet. KO having to back up there. Let me knows that they're heaven and just sitting there waiting to find something. Ooh, the flash is going to get a ton of centered players. But KO is going to get himself traded. We're making sure that none of these fights are, are necessarily lost. Really good uh, way to get rid of that recon dart. Uh, MTSU Sova is going to find Blimey, and Snom is going to trade. Last player standing. Looks like a 1v1 through KJ's here. MTSU's KJ is diffusing, and is, is, is tempting it, but not quite making enough noise. I'm going to just stressing out, um, stressing out Pierogi, uh, forcing Pierogi to make a move. Uh, and that is going to be pistol round win for uh, MTSU. This next win, uh, Center is not projected to win this particular round, but that just means that if Center manages to win it, it's a it's a massive upset in Center's favor. Once again, banking on that utility from Raze's part. Not able to buy too much since the, the round was a loss, but uh, kills were traded, and so not everybody is... 100% for. Revealing area. Bring out the recon. Ooh, Sora is going to get suppressed. So they know that somebody's in beaming. Whisper is going to get sniped by the marshal. Snom and Omen are basically looking at each other without knowing it. Looks like MTSU's Omen is going to gonna look for some sort of smoke or util as we push various different sites not committing to anything snom is going to get taken out really just the gun superiority so we're looking for a jump peek ooh it's sort of barely not getting hit there oh xr must be terrified of a million things being thrown at them Anything the pierogi does is just getting shut down here. Spike down mid. Ooh, Blimey does not quite know about the double peak. Finds one, cannot find the other. Absolutely understandable win. And uh, this round is a round that uh, Center is going to be able to buy better guns, rifles. Um, especially with all the kills that we got from pistol round, nobody's going to have to penny pinch that much. We're about to get that ult. You might see it in the in the next few rounds. Nobody quite having it yet. A few people close. It's like a full scent onto B. Throwing that util onto B, showing presence. Not quite, not quite rushing in, which is absolutely respected, especially with that KO, just that shutdown that that KO provides. Ooh, Ixora trying to find. Something, maybe just turret, maybe a player. Who is going to get blinded? A really good blind by MTSU. It's going to lead to a lot of trades. It's going to make it a 3v2. Xora looking for something to mark it. It's going to get pinged there. Ooh, Xora might get shot. Who's going to make it out though? Xora does have that ultimate. I don't know if, uh, if he should quite pop it yet, but. Something to keep in mind. 
Still enjoy throwing down that utility, trying to make sure that if anybody flanks, he knows. Whisper is gonna drop. Now a 2v2. Oh, no, that is gonna be a 1v2. Ooh, Rogi cannot quite find that one. Thinking about this next upcoming round, we've got uh, ults are finally starting to come out. We've got Reyna ult ready to go. We've got Omen ult ready to go. Um, I think that maybe uh, really just dangerous moves could be what uh, we would call for. A really risky Snom ult could be could be a round winner. Can't quite decide where to go just yet. Does look like rifles are still still in the budget a little bit. Maybe a few guardians, maybe a few light shields, but uh, vandals are still a priority here. Not going to send to any site in particular. They know that that ability to rotate is going to be really nice, especially with all of the utility that MTSU throws out just instantly. Ooh, Exora is going to get pinged quite a bit there from, from the Sova drone. I'm pushing on to B. Not too many people on B as they haven't full rated on full rotated onto the site yet. Um, is going to show presence by shooting that turret. But really, presence is being shown everywhere, so they aren't full rotating for it. There goes the blind. Ooh, Tom gets flashbang. Is going to get got by the KO. Sort of pushes forward, blinds the omen. Ooh, and then gets blinded in return. Oh, they trade a couple shots, but Ixora does fall. Cannot use that. Whisper maybe get this jet here. Can't He's gonna throw the utility just at the wrong time and get beat. Everyone else falling. Whisper's gonna find one. They're gonna push Whisper. Thirty seconds left. And back way up into spawn. Only being able to save a guardian is really unfortunate. However, Whisper does have heavy shields. Um, a thousand dollars save right there. If Whisper can make it out, there's still quite a bit of time in the round. Whisper might actually be looking for an A push. I'm going to see if maybe that bomb can't be planted. Oh, he's going to have to be really quick with it. And is not going to quite find it. Really unfortunate. Still has some util, still has some cash, still has that, that heavy shield. Uh, it's not the worst save from Whisper. I will say, everyone else, man, rifles is going to be quite the stretch. We're going to be shooting for more specters and marshals. Looking at ultimates here, a lot of ultimates are really close from uh, MTSU. Only uh, one or two kills away for several people. It's like uh, a push onto A with a a little bit of a, a little bit of a loose end for uh, Snob pushing on B. Ooh, really scary. Xora's gonna have to find a pick here to get that health back. Ooh, and they're going to make sure that, that Xora can't play off that eye. There's the Sova drone. See if maybe somebody can't play off some intel. Ooh, Sova drone's gonna get flashbang. Xora's gonna find one, but then get got in return. Rogi's gonna get one in heaven. Ooh, Whisper's side. Ooh. A lot of people are just getting taken out by this jet. It is now just Omen. They're making noise. And I'm having to run away, knowing that uh, her guns are inferior. Using that ult to get away. Maybe maybe can, can grab Spike, make it onto a site. They aren't full rotating anywhere, because they know that Snob could have gone anywhere. I have the Spike. And there's a bulldog. Definite hardware upgrade. Cover going 30 up. seconds left. Gonna maybe ooh, get seen by the turret. They know where Snom is. So I'm gonna pick up a gun and it's gonna be really unfortunate. It's gonna lead to an ace for MTSU's jet. Um as we move forward, uh, that is going to be the uh uh that's going to be Snom's ult down. Uh, it's not going to be for... Uh, didn't, didn't quite get a lot with it, but uh, as we said before, 
Omen ult is a is an ult that you can afford to be really selfish with, and uh, uh, you can afford to be really selfish with it, and it, it not really affect team fights um, too too much. So that's not the biggest loss for center. A lot of ult still on the board for MTSU, however. Looking for a more open approach, just looking at mid, maybe not pushing too fast. Got a couple people looking at different sites. Ixor is being loud, pushing onto A. Making sure that Ixor is heard. Ooh, and Snom is going to be found. It's going to be a KO ult for MTSU. Ooh, a fantastic turn, however, Ixor cannot find that. We got uh, Rogi and Whisper having to try and find something. Takes out that KO, but KO is still in the game as the nature of KO's ult is that is a down but not out phase. Ooh, and that's going to be Whisper gotten from mid. Rogi is surrounded here. Rogi finds one. They do get KO back on the board. Ooh, Rogi throwing out some damage, but can't quite get a kill. Rogi looking to save that rifle, knowing that just financially... Initially, center's not in a good spot right now, and that Vandal is worth more than the, than the 29. Oh, and really unfortunate, runs into the Molly. Uh, I suppose just uh, intuition and a little bit of uh, audio cues led to that one. That was really unfortunate for center. It's going to be a uh, match point. If MTSU wins one more round, then MTSU will win this game. We have a handful of rounds coming up, or not rounds. Handful of ults coming up. Um, think that uh, we shouldn't count center out just yet. We we saw a, an insane comeback uh, from center uh, just last uh, uh, last week. So we're just gonna move forward. We're gonna be a lot less loud this time. Slow pushing onto site. You should run. Rogi's gonna throw down that Killjoy ult. There is still a chance that they contest that. But it doesn't look like MTSU wants to at all. Cover going out. Ooh, Blimey walking into that Molly a little bit, taking a little bit of damage. The flash goes out. It's everyone with it. Whisper gets taken out. Oh, Blimey just sitting in the worst spot ever. Getting flashed by a lot of things not meant for them. It is just Snom. Snom is going to have to 1v5 ace here. Ooh. Having to run away and cannot quite find one. That is going to be game uh, for MTSU. That is the, the first in a best of three. We got that leaderboard. A ton of first bloods from KO, but also a ton of first bloods from Jet. A lot of really even players. Thank you.
And welcome to the second game in a best of three uh, between Center and uh, MTSU. Uh, gonna wait for any lock-ins before I start spectating comps because uh, it's 50 seconds. There's a lot of time for people to change their mind. Uh, that was a win on the side of MTSU on Scent, and we are now moving on to Haven. Haven is a map with three sites, which means that um, MTSU having that defender first half is... Uh, is going to be a really rough first half for them. Hopefully, uh, Center can take advantage of that. Uh, well, one thing about Heaven, Heaven. One thing about Haven that um, I think is really interesting is just how duelists work. And only running the jet, only running the jet could mean a lot or it could mean nothing. Um, but Blimey's going to pull out that raise again. Looking at uh, any guaranteed mirrors right now, and it looks like we only have the jet mirror. Of course, Ixora could do anything. Ixora could do anything. And Ixora is going to lock in that Sova. Uh, with just how open top Haven is, uh, Sova has a lot of lineups, and I'm not surprised to see see him pulled out. Uh, Quite a big difference. We, we had three mirror matches uh, in, in our Ascent game, but in this Haven game, uh, just one. Uh, I think that the chamber on attack is going to be uh, really rough, but uh, ultimately, every game, you, you spend some time on attack, some time on defense, so really, center just playing for that long con. And center will be red team for attackers at the moment. Round one pistol always having that uh, that thirty second timer. I always struggle to. Uh, a lot of times people run around and I I have it hard have a hard time telling whether or not they want to go C or if we're just doing cool spins on C. Uh, Blimey does look like uh, he's gonna try and run garage. With the assist of uh, of several team members. There goes some of the smokes. Whisper looking in with that. Ooh, with the trademark. Saw one, but didn't get anything. That's two down for center, but Brogy is able to find one. Brogy throwing down those smokes. Gonna pick up a ghost. Ooh, Whisper's gonna get dropped. Sora's gonna trade. So we're looking for a shock dart. Can't find anything with it. And it's gonna get a fantastic headshot on that Sova. That's Pierogi with a triple and Ixora with a life-saving headshot. Damn right, we and that spike down, so I believe that's a, a little bit of extra money and a little bit of extra ult points for center. That was a, that was an absolutely fantastic pistol round. Uh, a handful of people died, but two people living on pistol round and getting spiked down is... Uh, that's something that you, could, you couldn't ask for better. Ooh, Whisper going for one of those, uh, Marshall into a teleport. He's gonna ooh, peek with the, peek with the Marshall, peek with the, peek with the trademark. I think either is a fantastic decision. Nobody's gonna really challenge Window here. Ooh, Ixora coming out of a flash into a drone. Ooh, is gonna see that, KJ. Snob is gonna find the Omen sitting in that corner. Everybody's clearing site, making sure that nobody can come through garage. Watching corners, clearing, clearing cubbies, all that stuff. I'm just gonna throw out that utility. Just once again, area denial. And there go a couple people peeking out of garage. Looks like almost the entire team of MTSU is going to be in garage. Some flanking around from long. I believe that's Sky. Spray into garage is gonna get Snom a little bit hurt. Ooh, really unfortunate. MTSU's jet is going to find two, but Pierogi's going to trade. Now 3v2. Ooh, the shots from Pierogi. Can't quite find anything, but Ixora's going to save her life. The last one is in long. Doesn't quite know what to do. Might go back into garage. 
Ooh, is gonna get seen and is gonna get taken out by Exora with a wall bang. That was an absolutely fantastic run for Exora and that Vandal. That Vandal was, was, was crucial for that last kill. Right here. Right here. Right here. Everybody, uh, I'm, I'm sure relishing the, relishing the, the, the very nice kill that, that that round ended on. Um, looking like a uh, an A A or, or, or B push. Then again, Whisper Whisper just looking for for something, looking for something through that window. Who is gonna see dog? Nobody's quite challenging that window, which is a smart move by them. So we're just moving up onto A. Two on A, so they won't have too much of a of a pushback. There's eyes. That's a ping. They now see that jet. That's running away, but they don't know that Sova is really close. And they find that Sova who's sitting in drone. An absolutely fantastic pick for Blimey. Move to a 5v3. This is looking in center's favor, especially with the plant. Spike is down. It's only a matter of time. Ooh, that's a really nice flash from Sky. Ended up blinding Blimey. Uh, Blimey's going to get picked. A couple people are going to get traded. Only one left on M uh, MTSU. And it looks like MTSU's Omen is going to back up. Not going to contest this. Is it, Center has three people. Three people and just not much that, not much to really contest there. Like, what are you going to do against a, a, a chamber post plant? Hopefully everybody makes it out. Sometimes people like to go really deep there and uh, go for like a, a back flank after after the round, stuff like that. Center is going to have that brimstone ult going into this next round. Probably not going to use it. Probably save it for an advantage later on. Do you think that Brimstone ult could definitely be used for Spike goes down, just sitting there waiting and able to uh, take out anybody trying to defuse? Right here. Once again, spread out a little bit. No presence on A, however. Ooh, Whisper once again looking through that window. One of these days, Whisper, one of these days, somebody's going to contest you and you're going to be ready for it. Now, now deciding to rotate to A after showing a little bit of presence on B and C. Really smart move by center. Everybody moving forward. A little bit of a little bit of recon being thrown, but A is absolutely free here. Okay, getting onto site. Making sure that nobody's there. Looks like Sova might be pushing in a little bit. First with thrown. Ooh, and Xora's gonna get somebody with the shock there. That's absolutely fantastic. Already backing up. Spike is down, so they, they do not need to aggress here. Jet's gonna find somebody, but Snom is going to find the KJ. There's a ping. Snom is going to use that ping to take out that jet in heaven. A very monumental win. is gonna find another. It is now, once again, just the Omen. The Omen cannot contest. Snom is going to take them out. Go. Looks like each jet has got their alts now. Got a fair amount of cash saved up, so no nothing to worry about there. Here. Here. I think that uh Sora's looking for a lineup. Just trying to maybe get an early ping. The only person on C is Omen though. Ooh, tons of, tons of just aggression on to see. Whisper is gonna pull up that flank and grab that ultor while everybody else moves on to site. Now I'm looking for something that's gonna get blinded. Nobody in garage, but they don't know that. 
Whisper watching for the flank. There is somebody in flank, but Whisper might have to wait a, se wait a second. Blimey's going to get taken out on site. It is just... Uh, Snum and, and... That's a really unfortunate pick on a Whisper. Ooh, and a fantastic kill from Snom. Snom just gets sidewinded there. And that is the first round for MTSU. Um, not a bad winning streak for center, not at all. Um, I'm really glad that they were able to take that momentum from pistol round and just snowball it into a little bit better. They're just going to have three good alts going into this round. Uh, they've got enough cash saved up, so they bought back all their rifles and their armor. Here we go. Ray's also almost at her ult. The, hey, that C push didn't work last time, but they think maybe they can make it work again. Uh, Whisper doing that almost trademark peek on the, on the window. Ooh, Jet maybe contests it. Oh, and Whisper's gonna get taken out with the op. Really unfortunate. Uh, Whisper was been waiting for that all game. Ooh, a push on the site. Snob's gonna find one. Xora's gonna find the other. The only person anywhere nearby is CT. And that's with an operator. Snom could get taken out really quickly here. This is incredibly nervous. Oh, everybody's just walking around. Snom no doubt can hear that. He's gonna get pinged. He's gonna find the Sova. Ooh, really unfortunate. Snom couldn't find more of it. That was still plenty. That was still absolutely plenty. We're already moving off of sight because they know that they can use the Brim ult and Ixora's Sova ult just to get them off of bomb. There's no need to, to pressure here or anything like that. They have a ton of ults that just secure the round. With that Operator 2, I bet they don't want to peek it at all. They're going to ping. They're, they're going to maybe contest a little bit. And they're not even going to have to use an ult for it. That's absolutely fantastic. And Jet is going to fall down. They are not going to have that op for continuous rounds. Center's in a, in a really good spot here. They're, they've got ult saved up. They're they're up quite a bit. Uh, I, I I would agree. Um, there's not really not really a better position that you could be in. I'm sure Whisper is a a little bit butthurt over the fact that uh, the window fight did not go in his favor. But there's always more rounds. Whisper gonna instantly show presence on Garage. Ooh, just a util thrown at him. Everybody getting blinded all at the same time. Showing presence, but not exactly committing. Ooh, MTSU's Jet's gonna find one, but Blimey's gonna trade. For Jet ult, I do not think that that is a bad trade there. But just how deadly Jet ult can be, that, that could have been a, an entire round, one for MTSU. He's gonna find the Omen. Hope people are gonna peek the Omen. Xora's gonna get it. Ooh, and Whisper's gonna get pinged. It's not gonna lead to anything, but I'm sure it was uh, quite frightening. We're moving on to A. Four people in center, and uh, we've only got three for MTSU. None of which on A to contest. No util to be seen. Just massive pressure here. I think this might go like similar rounds to where just you can't really contest this uh, this composition. I was talking about it before, uh, I was a little bit nervous about the chamber on attack. The chamber on attack has led to a lot of Post plant wins. Ooh, Chamber's gonna get out of there just in time to not get flashed. Ooh, Blimey cannot find one. Ooh, really unfortunate for Whisper. He's gonna move to a 2v3. And then Pierogi's gonna use that ult, make sure they're not defusing. Can't find another one. Sora has that ultimate. He's gonna get them off spike. They are gonna half it, however. Ooh, Ixora does not know that uh, that he's being sideswiped and he's gonna get taken out there. That's two alts there uh, for G'day. for a, a loss. I'm no doctor, but I can patch a bullet hole or two. Uh, saying that though, uh, Jet ult is up. Jet ult is up. Jet ult helps financially. It helps win rounds. Um, Snom could could make some big plays. I think that. Uh, how many financial troubles just with a, a little bit of a winning streak here? Um, I suppose not a streak, but a definite lead. Uh, 
not having to worry about money is definitely helping, and I think prolonging how long Jed is going to hold on to that hole. Again, showing pressure. So I'm going to get pinged a little bit. Once again, just sitting, poking around, seeing if maybe we can't get a pick somewhere. I think that uh, this, uh, this is the strategy that's been working. There's no reason to change it up. Ooh, Snom's going to get hard flashed. And it's going to get taken out by Sky. Oh, and Whisper. Oh, and then Blimey. Gonna move to a 2v5. And now Pierogi is the only one left. Sorry, not Pierogi. Xora. Xora's gonna pick up two. I said Pierogi's the only one left, and then Xora, a person who I thought was dead, is, uh, got a double. That was uh, not the worst thing that could have happened. That is uh, not gonna give Xora the ult, but in this round, we will have a ton of ults coming up. We have that showstopper. We have uh, the Tour de Force, and we have the, the Jet Knives. And still not too many financial problems on the Standard League. Still got a lot of points built up from those, those financial streaks. Yeah, d despite the recent losses. You want to play? Let's play. Ooh, Whisper's throwing out those off shots, but can't quite find anything. He's going to get really hurt. This next fight is going to be really difficult for him. Looking at Garage, maybe a pick here could make up for it, but uh, looks like he's not going to get contested. Ooh, all of MTSU's Killjoy, util Killjoy Utility is just getting thrown out the window. Blimey moves on to site. Uncontested so far, but there is people on the site. There's one, and a pick for Blimey. And Brogy's going to find another one. Last in CT. All right, now we've got three people. Three, three on site, three off site. Looks like they're gonna split between CT and Garage. They're not gonna bother with the flank, but we do still have Whisper on the flank just in case. The Showstopper comes out from Blimey and is gonna trade with the Sky. It is still an even match. Oh, and there goes, there goes two people. Uh, really unfortunate for center. Uh, I do believe that that was a, that was a, that was a handful of ults. Uh, maybe not a handful of ults. Maybe it was just Showstopper. Uh, but uh, another loss for center. Looking to go back to that even game that we saw last time. Center's down to one all at the moment. A little, little bit of financial uh, pressure here, but I think it's still good for center. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. We're still able to buy those rifles, still, still able to get that utility. Just maybe a couple people have to buy half shields. That works. We are getting kind of close to the end of the half, so in these next few rounds, I need to be I need to be frugal. But in this round, everybody's pushing really fast, throwing caution out the window, getting onto site as quick as they can. They know somebody's in there. Pierogi's gonna throw that molly, but before all the mollies out, ooh, Omen cannot find Pierogi, and Pierogi just takes him out. Oh, and there's one for Snob. Snob gets traded. It is. Two people for center. He's gonna fake the. Ooh. So he's taken out to 1v1. Sora's not hurt here, but is concussed. Ooh, an incredibly close 1v1 that goes in center's favor. Absolutely fantastic. And then plant money. I believe. I believe um, Spike went down there. And that is definitely gonna put center in a much better financial position for, for the next couple of rounds. Absolutely. Uh, I think that. Uh, if, if rifles aren't being bought this round, it's to save for next round, because next round is last round. Um, center definitely going to try and get as many uh, as many budget rounds as they can before having to, to do that force. We'll definitely see some alts coming out here soon. A lot of youth will be in thrown out. Whisper just getting blinded and having to deal with it. But uh, everybody everybody watching is back, so it's not, not too worrisome. Sitting all in A, where previously uh, we were sitting in C. Maybe a little bit of a change up. Snom is going to find that one in window. I'm sure Whisper is jealous at the moment. Uh, everybody pushing onto A. Whisper setting up that flank utility. Let me throw in the nade, making sure that they, they can get on site. 
who is going to get hard flashed by the Skybird? Oh, but don't worry, the Jet Smoke is there to cover you. Line fire into the smoke. Ooh, can't find the sky, but the sky is going to get hit by the boom bus. Really unfortunate. Whisper gets caught in the Killjoy ultimate. It is just Ixora, but if anybody can do it, I know Ixora can do it. That's two. Oh, can't quite find the third. MTSU's jet is just too good at the moment. All right, this is last round. Banner's looking good with three alts and they all have rifles here so looking like it's gonna be a very eventful round it's gonna be an even round too with three ults open uh for mtsu i will say as i said before omen ult just isn't that influential so this might just be tipped in center's favor a little bit <laughs> i was looking at pierogi and uh cannot quite buy, buy the the pulls uh, or the rifle uh, and is going to have to try and pick something up here. Snom is going to pull out the knives. Going to have to move on soon. Ooh, that's two jet ults in the same round. There's Sova ult. Oh, going to like have to weave in between teammates. Can't quite find anything. Snom is going to get taken out before we can get anything. Limey's going to get one. Limey's going to get taken out as well. Whisper is going to get the jet. That's an absolutely massive kill for Whisper. Still got that brimstone ult to pick that spike right there absolutely that could mean a massive post plant move brogy's gonna pick up that phantom can't quite get the guy in heaven does not have the correct angle ixora just needs to play back here bomb is down ixora gets one it is a 2v2 here bomb is down which is you has to defuse ixora's gonna get taken out but they do not know where brogy is they think that he's hell she's hell rather they're going to defuse. Pierogi gets one and gets the second one. An absolutely massive clutch for Pierogi and for center. And that is going to put center in the lead going into halftime. Switching sides. You're now switching sides. Center is now going to be defending, which we have a, a I would say, a, a very defense-sided comp. I think that uh, Sova is really good for stalling. Um, and that, that chamber, chamber could mean a lot. I think that uh, going into this half, um, going into this half, we should be looking a lot at uh, at these defensive characters. Maybe hoping that uh, Brimstone can get a lot of really stalling smokes. Hoping that Chamber can get a lot of those snipes. Uh, and uh, honestly, the thing I'm kind of nervous about is uh, MTSU's attack sided comp. They do a very uh, attack oriented comp here, and it looked like they're going to absolutely just beeline it. For B, didn't mean it that way. But uh, so now I'm just taking a little bit too much poke from that turret. Nobody really able to get on B site. Throwing a couple, a couple bullets onto the site, seeing if uh, any damage can be made. Sora has that recon dart. There we go. Boombot goes out. We get one. Ooh, Jet is gonna find two. Really unfortunate. Jet's gonna find three. We only have Snom. Ooh, Snom is going to find one. Snom and Pierogi left. Snom gets taken out. Pierogi Molly's backside. It is a 1v2. And one is really hurt. Pierogi doesn't quite know. Ooh, and there's one. It's now a 1v1, a really even match. A fantastic headshot by Pierogi. Going to lead to a 4k. An absolutely massive, um, great first pistol round. And that is a 0 .02 second defuse. I personally do not have audio. I did not know how close that was. My heavens. That is going to put center in a very good spot for this next round. Everybody just uh, very astounded by the by the like frame perfect uh, defuse there. Um, cannot be played. Cannot be played much better there. Um, all right, moving forward, we're, we're now picking up those those SMGs, maybe a handful of rifles like the Bulldog. Ooh, Whisper looking for a snipe in heaven. I'm surprised that Whisper isn't looking for the window, but maybe he realizes it's not for him. Snom is going to look for that window, though. Sees the jet and is going to take that jet out. An absolutely massive piece off the board for MTSU. Spike 
Lamy's gonna try and contest Garage here, but not quite find anything. He's moved into a 4v3. Everybody on MTSU is now in uh, on C-site or moving into Garage. Lamy's gonna find one in Garage. Ooh, and then Blimey's gonna get taken out. Whisper looking for a snipe here. Oh, can't quite find it. And there we go, the absolutely stylish shot to finish that round off. That's going to put Sinner pretty close to a couple of vaults there. Um, definitely saving up that money and have enough left over. But definitely going to put Sinner in a very good position with those last two rounds. Uh, keep in mind that this round is supposed to be a round that MTSU can win. Uh, this is the first round that MTSU will be able to buy rifles, and so... Center manages to. If Center loses this, it's not too much of a not too much of a setback. But if Center wins this, it is absolutely massive. Center could use that momentum to maybe even finish out the game. Yeah. Looks like MTSU is going to push all through A. Whisper with one in the chamber, looking for maybe something. Is going to get smoked off though. Whisper getting tagged a little bit is going to back up. Now I'm finding one. Looking for a rifle there. There we go. Snom now has a vandal and is deadly in the back line. Little jet check for Snom. Who does check for Snom? Snom's going to get taken out. Moved into a 3v3. Ooh, Ixora not quite knowing where they are. Oh, really unfortunate. Whisper having a rifle could be, could be pretty big here. Of course, everybody on MTSU has a rifle, but... Just puts him on uh, on even playing field. We see that uh, that post plant going up by KJ. Plant has just now been announced, so they know where exactly the enemy team is. Really, just able to cover all of the different entrances onto C because of how many people they have left. Let me throwing out the boom bot. See if maybe anything can be found. They peek. Ooh, and that's one for Blimey. Blimey gets traded. Oh, really unfortunate. Whisper cannot get that jet. But like I said, MTSU, that was that was meant to be a win for MTSU. Um, and I, I, I don't think that uh, that's going to set center back leagues. Yeah, it'll definitely even the playing field a little bit, but I think center still has a little bit of that money advantage and certainly kill advantage. Yeah, um, as we see, Blimey is one away from that showstopper. I am, uh, I, I'm ready to see some some big plays now that uh, uh, Whisper is is peeking that window. Ooh, can't quite find it. Is gonna get out before anything too bad happens. Um, they found my track. Rowan in that utility onto B. They know that B is a priority for them. Take flight. Going to throw out the, the, the recon, but it looks like that MTSU is actually going to try and go garage here, or at least stall out in front of garage. Not really making any moves. Throws out the smoke, and an absolutely massive shock dart for Exora. He's going to get three, but is going to get taken out in the process. That left a lot of people really hurt on the side of MTSU. However, they do have a sky, and so a lot of that damage is going to be healed. Grenade goes out, not gonna find anything. Ooh, and Sanam finding a, a wall bang with the operator. Ooh, everybody just getting flanked. Blimey gets taken out. Sorry, Blimey does not get taken out. Blimey takes out somebody who took out Brogy. Bomb is down. Everybody having to really quickly run over to A as the fight has been taking place really in the garage and C. The showstopper comes out. Blimey's looking for it. And it's going to direct hit that sky right in the face. Dom gets taken out. And there goes Whisper. Really unfortunate loss for center. However, um, I still think that uh, still think that both teams, both teams are in this. Center has the lead, but uh, we might be seeing MTSU pick up some momentum. Center does have that jet ult, which is going to... Allow them to afford a little bit extra. And possibly, possibly get the rifles. Yeah, I think that um, that jet ult, that jet ult could mean 
just a, an entire rifle round for free. Um, if we see uh, Snom go for uh, a play like that. Snom peeks with the marshal. Doesn't quite find it. Is able to dash out in time. Looking for another one. Ooh, gets the hit. Gets the second hit. That is MTSU's Jets down. That was a really good play for Snom. Able to get a pick and take out one of the top rags of MTSU. Like MTSU also used their uh, their sky ult as well. So putting center in a little bit of a better position. Nobody can find anything. Blimey does not have a gun, however. That could be really difficult whenever it comes to retake here. Everybody seems to be on C. But not on center. Center is still a little bit spread out over the map. So we're throwing out the drone. Blimey getting a little bit poked out there from the shock dart. Really unfortunate. Both of center's players in CT get taken out. Ooh, and that's just a team wipe for team wipe on center. These ults, these ults are, uh, uh, they're coming up and they, they, they really just solidifying the momentum that, uh, that MTSU has here. The, uh, the Killjoy ult could lead to a big round. However, Pierogi could maybe shut some stuff down with that, uh, that orbital strike. Like just playing for retake has been a little bit of a struggle on the side of center. Ooh, Whisper cannot quite find that once again. That works. He's gonna set up Util in garage, making sure nobody flanks. There goes the raise nade. Doesn't quite see much. Bomb goes down on B, but all of MTSU moving off of B so that they can get that that post plant, the, the, those peaks, and just looking from a safe distance. But Snom is going to come up behind, take one. Doesn't check Cubby and is going to get taken out, but Whisper gets one. Cubby gets taken out. Whisper makes it back to Savy. Ixora getting one. It's a 2v1. They can guess where this guy is. They peek. Ooh, Ixora getting some damage. Also, in return, taking a lot of damage, pulls out the classic and doesn't get it. Really unfortunate. That was a that was a round that uh really was it, it, a lot of just misinformation. Not misinformation, but just not having information, I suppose. Um, now I'm getting shot in the back, and uh, just all all these different plays that couldn't have possibly been predicted. And that is going to tie the game up. Uh, yes, that uh, that does tie the game up to nine to nine. Looking at it from a, a, a holistic perspective, the game is tied, but MTSU currently has that momentum and uh, might be able to make more out of this. Xora is going to get pinged and instantly get taken out. That is going to cost Xora his ult. That is not a good scenario. Blimey's going to get shot from the back. Ooh, this jet is just on a rampage, and Broki's going to stop that rampage. There's MTSU Sova ult. Doesn't look like it's going to find much. Still some big plays could be made as a 2v4. Not looking in center's favor, but not count them out. The rifle just now getting into Brogy's hands. Brogy might not notice the almost empty clip. Um, and it looks like they're going to save. I'm sure that with the with the recent losses, economy has been at an all-time low, and so I don't think that saving here is a bad idea at all. Yeah, it's definitely a good decision to get them ready for that next round. Uh, they're being realistic. They're thinking a 2v4 is not something that we can necessarily gain much from. We have shields. We have rifles. Let's just come back stronger next round. As we move into round 20, um, it looks like uh, Chamber is going to have that ultimate. Chamber is going to have that ultimate. Brim's going to have that ultimate. Um, Who's been holding on to that ultimate? I think just for a really good opportunity. People have been really spread out recently, so there's not much that uh, that we can do with it. Whisper is going to pop the tour de force. 
Whisper will have an operator this round. Smokes go out. Looks like MTSU is going to just absolutely just rush down A long. You should run. And they are going to pop Killjoy ult, making it to where everybody's having to evacuate off of the site. Whisper not able to use that op just to all of the utility that's been thrown at heaven. Everybody finally being able to rotate over. Exora is behind them. They aren't careful here. Ooh, Exora gets spotted. Really unfortunate his position is known. Gets the ping. Maybe a really nice track dart here. Ooh, and can't quite take out the jet. But Pierogi will, Pierogi will take out the jet, but get taken in return. It is just Blimey here. I mean, looking for a pick. Can't quite find it. Omen is going to take Blimey out. Uh, MTSU only has to win two more rounds. Uh, we, we will need a little bit of a streak here from uh, from center. Center's money is definitely running low on those on the, they have in, on last couple of rounds, but I think they've still got enough left in there that they're still holding on a couple half shields here and there whisper has been uh budgeting out those bullets making sure never to have full trademark bullets just in case he needs to buy some some shields or a gun Ooh, a fantastic pick so molly. molly goes out in order to delay down to a 4v4 but uh the top frag for mtsu is out Nobody making any moves yet. It does look like MTSU is looking at C. A couple people peeking into garage. Exora getting a ping. Ooh, Exora just surrounded by people at the moment. Whisper is going to get got. Exora is going to peek out. Oh, it can't quite find anything. Does some damage, but the damage is going to get healed right back up by Sky. Hiroki is going to pop that ult and is not going to find anything for it. Blimey is going to be able to get the silver running away from the wall tower. Spike planted. Now the smoke is up. Rogi's gonna have to push through a ton of utility in order to get through this. Everybody very nervous to poke out. Boombot has made their presence known. Rogi gets one. Blimey does not. And Rogi gets taken out. MTSU has to win one more round in order to win. Match point. Winners definitely gonna be budgeting a lot for this round. Which is really unfortunate since it yeah. is match point. Looks like they all do have rifles though. So I'm not in a bad position there. Having to maybe spring for a, a, a bulldog and lights occasionally, but definitely better than having to run specters. The ultimate? The the showstopper? Showstopper? I've seen some pretty crazy plays get pulled out by a showstopper. Out and uh, I would not count Blimey out. I'm looking for a really risky play. Here. Isn't going to cost them anything. Nobody pushing. Nobody full rotating yet. Ooh, Whisper. Whisper's going to throw out some of that damage and is not going to find anything. Looks like MTS is going to go ahead and use their jet ult. That jet ult could be really bad news for center. Uixora knows that Sova's right there and is going to find that Sova. Fantastic pit. But Jet is going to find Blimey. Ooh, Ixora dodging the knives and getting the Jet. Throws out the chalk dart, but then gets got by CT. Just too many people running at him at once. It is now just Snom. Snom against the world has to take out three people and defuse the bomb with no utility other than a single smoke. Having to move on to B in order to defuse. He's able to pick up a rifle here. This is not out of the range of possibility. Decides to opt for a going through courtyard. And is going to go forward, watching behind, remembering from past mistakes. Push forward. See the omen. Take out the omen. Gonna move. See the KJ. Having to take out utility in order to not get tracked is going to get taken out by the Killjoy. Really unfortunate. Uh, 
and that will be uh, a best of three. And so MTSU has won this series. Just looking at uh, the aftermath report, everybody doing uh, everybody doing really well on both teams, um, and massive assists from from Pro Union Xora, but. Uh, this has been uh, MTSU versus Center in the first official match of uh, Valorant Esport Pros. Thank you.